high fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and this cross watching, and welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to be taking a look at um, will your person here come back to you? So will he or she come back into your life? So I guess this is more tailored for those of you who are in a disconnection or like a separation um, in a division here with your romantic interest. As always, these messages do remain general, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what it is that they predict here for you and your special someone. So will the two of you here cross paths again? Will he or she come back into your life? Are they destined to come back into your life? Oh, okay, I feel like this card went flying out. You all saw that. The Nine of Cups. So some of you I can see are very hopeful or you're very optimistic that you might um, have the opportunity to cross paths or you'll have the opportunity to reconcile things with your special person. Or is it their energy? Are they the ones that have this unshakable faith and unshakable optimism that the two of you will cross paths and that everything will work out? Okay, the Three of Swords, the High Priestess, Six of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the King of Cups, but this body is in reverse. Um, all right, so your person, I feel like, I'm not going to say they're deluded, but I do feel like your person here is very hopeful for reconciliation or they're very optimistic that the two of you will work this out. You may be in a disconnection or a separation here. I feel like something here has definitely disrupted the flow of your connection. In fact, I get a, a strong sense of dualism here with your spread. You've got the Three of Swords. Um, so it's, it may have been a third party situation. There may have been another person involved. There may have been dishonesty, um, infidelity, um, cheating, scandals, lies, deception, betrayal. Um, there may have been some secrecies here as well with the high priestess. Now with the two of wands, again, I'm getting this duality here. It's like this person maybe didn't end up choosing you or they didn't, you know, they treated you as an um, option rather than a priority. I can see that this is someone who has hurt you. And to me, I feel like this hurt hasn't fully healed. Time heals all things and maybe it's not been long enough. Maybe it's just been um, recent or maybe it's a very, um, you know, the wound is still fresh and it's a deeply cut wound and it still festers and I can see it's still kind of bleeding into the present here. Um, the Nine of Cups. This is someone, your person feels as though you were a, like a dream come true, you were a wish fulfillment. Um, they felt as though you had all the qualities, all the traits and characteristics that you know they wanted within a partner. So it's like you checked off their um, checklist. Um, they've absolutely admired everything about you. And unfortunately, you know, it just so happens that sometimes people don't know what they have until they, you know, until it's gone. And people have a tendency to take um, what's, you know, the treasures in front of them for granted here. So um, I can see that with the Three of Swords, either this person has hurt you by their words, by their actions, or by their intentions. Okay, for some of you, a third party situation. So maybe this is someone who was um, romantically committed to someone else. They might have been in, in marriage or in a partnership with someone else. They might have cheated on you. Um, there's a strong sense of emotional anguish here. Okay, I'm also seeing there were secrecies. So for a lot of you, maybe you didn't even know this up until the reading. Um, you did have an intuition. Okay, you did have a, you know, the high priestess, she's big on intuition. So you did have this intuitive feeling that something was off or something didn't quite add up or that there might have been someone else. Or you had a feeling that I feel like was trying to, for, like, it's, I see, I see foreshadowing or I see like a very strong intuition that I was trying to hint at something. But I feel like some of you maybe glossed over those red flags or maybe ignored those red flags, which were, those red flags were an indicator that something was indeed off. And for some of you, I do feel like this is someone who either they disrespected you, um, you know, by lying, by deceiving, by cheating, by being dishonest, by being disloyal to you here. A lot of hurt, a lot of tears shed. Even whilst you're in separation, I feel like, you know, you're, you're sort of trying to feel it to heal it. And I can see that there is still a lot of emotional processing that's happening here on your end but also on their end as well but the high priestess whenever she pops up in the reading it's like 
the outcome of the situation is unknown. So I know you want a yes or no answer from me, um, but I feel like the it's almost like the messages for me are being veiled by the appearance of the high priestess here. Um, and I say this because I feel like this person is in two minds about reaching out to you. And I'm also seeing that this situation can really go any which way. So there's a likelihood of them reaching out to you in the future when there's more emotional or mental awareness of um, what's happened between the two of you. Okay, But there's also a likelihood that this person is so, either they feel so ashamed and so guilty that they will... Um, that that shame and that guilt would stop them from reaching out here. So I feel like the outcome here is very um, uncertain and quite unpredictable with the high priestess appearance here. Now, but if your intuition here, if your intuition is trying to tell you something, like if some of you feel, you know, I started the reading saying with the Nine of Cups, if you feel very optimistic or very hopeful that the two of you will reconcile, the two of you will work this out, then, you know, feel that, okay, and stick by your intuition because your intuition is going to try, it's never going to steer you wrong, okay, and it's trying to communicate something to you. So if your intuition is telling you, yes, the two of you will work things out or the two of you are going through, you know, a very emotionally challenging time, but everything will be okay. Um, so if you're hopeful and if you truly believe in the depths of your heart here that the two of you will work, work it out, you know, stay with that, stay with that intuition, stay with that feeling. But however, if your intuition is, in, you know, is on the reverse side of this coin, and it's telling you that, you know, there is no possibility for reconciliation, or that the two of you are done and dusted, um, then it's very likely that there is truth to that as well. So, and if some of you are like, oh, I don't know what my intuition is saying, I don't know, I'm getting all sort of mixed messages, then what you need to do is you need to sit still, okay, you need to sit still, um, remove yourself away from too much noise, too much outside distractions, sit still with your thoughts and your feelings, because you do have that inner voice, sometimes it screams really loudly to us, sometimes it faintly whispers, and it can be really hard to hear when it's faintly whispering, that's why you need to still your mind um, and just drown out the noise and listen to what it's trying to tell you something, because it is trying to communicate something to you, okay, it is trying to tell you something. Um, the Six of Pentacles, there was a very, a very strong lack of imbalance, in the connection so maybe you were more invested in this connection than your person was maybe you were putting a lot more energy a lot more effort and a lot more emotions into this than your person was um, I'm also seeing there may have been like a different vibrational frequency the two of you were on the two of you might have been mismatched from the very beginning okay just because he or she might have been some someone you wanted it doesn't mean that the, the person was someone you needed there's a difference there um, yeah, so I'm seeing you a little bit um, mismatched. There's some sort of misalignment is what I'm seeing. I feel like there was one, and I don't know which end you're on, but there was, uh, well, I suspect, I know, um, but I feel like there was someone here who was doing all the giving and the other person who was doing all, all the taking. There was never a healthy balance. Um... And I feel like you were the one that gave maybe too much of yourself away and you were the one that invested way too much in this relationship. Um, you have a choice though. You have a choice with the two of wands. For some of you, I'm getting closure. So I'm getting that some of you want to communicate with this person simply because you feel like it will, um, it will give you some sort of closure here will allow you to close the um, the book on this chapter. For some of you, I feel like there's a choice that you need to make. This person feels like a past energy and they feel like this person, you know, um, they aren't a part of your present, at least not right now. And you're going to have to make the choice. Do you continue living in the past here or do you start looking towards the future with optimism? The King of Cups tells me that this person here, their emotions are all over the place, to be honest with you. And this is why I say there is a likelihood that this person, I feel like it can go any which way. And I need you to really understand that because right now their emotions, like their energies, uh, the energies that are being channeled from this individual is they're very scattered. I don't know if there's someone who's just not able to get a good hold, a good grasp of their emotions, but they're very scattered. I don't know if this has thrown them off. I don't know if there's other external forces that are affecting their like current energy right now but they're all over the place they're an emotional wreck 
okay? Um, could be several factors why they are the way they are here. However, them, so once they get more of an emotional mental awareness, it's very likely that your person might reach out to you. Uh, what happens from there? Well, then you decide, you decide your fate. But for others of you, I feel like because this person is so ridden with guilt or shame or just, you know, heavy with um, some sort of emotional burden, it's very likely that they may end up not coming back not reaching out and this is why I say for some of you you know consider considering this is your energy here you're gonna have to make the decision do you continue living in the past and being hopeful optimistic that you potentially might reconcile things with them even though it's not looking very likely or do you you know move on do you release the energy and do you move towards the future because potentially what's happening is some of you I feel like you're you're blocking yourself and you're preventing yourself from, um, you know, from anyone new from entering your life and you're preventing yourself from engaging into a relationship um, with someone who is emotionally available for you. Okay. So I know, and again, I started the reading saying that there was a lot of dual, uh, dualism and when there's a lot of duality, it's like ping-ponging between uncertain, like back and forth. It's on and off, back and forth, hot and cold. There's this it's an undecided of energy. So the reading predicts that it can go any which way, really. This person can come back into your life. Okay? And the two of you could potentially look at reconciling things and even building a future together. Um, the, other, the other interpretation of the card's predicting here that it's very likely that this person continues to drown in their emotions and they don't feel like they're in control and therefore they won't end up reaching out to you. However it unfolds, you, you hold the future in your hands. Just remember that, guys. All right, and that's all I have for you. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Um, and for those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading, feel free to inquire. Otherwise, take care, guys. Bye for now.